Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Art with Mr. Malik. I'm your host, Mr. Malik. Welcome back. Um, so today's episode of Art with Mr. Malik, we're going to talk about paintbrushes and the fabulous different types of paintbrushes we have, and particularly a little bit of how to use them, what they're used for, um, and why there's so many, right? Because you've got a bunch of paintbrushes, you're like, why do we have so many paintbrushes, and how do I use them, and which one do I choose? Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Are you ready? Come on down. So I have a piece of paper, just an example, but I'll put that to the side right now. Um, so you have different types of paintbrushes, different sizes, as you can see. Uh, they all pretty much do the same thing. You use, to use them for painting. But the question sometimes is, how do I choose a paintbrush? Well, you know, there's different types of paint. There's watercolor, there's acrylic, and there's oil painting. And so you generally, generally would choose the paintbrush depending on what type of paint you would use. Then that would determine the, the first determine what type of paintbrushes you're going to get. And the paintbrushes are labeled on the package when you buy them or wherever you are at the store. They'll tell you watercolor, acrylic, or oil painting brush. Um, so that's kind of generally how you start to choose. Then you're going to pick the size of the paintbrush depending on the size of your picture. So the bigger the paintbrushes are... These are generally used for bigger canvases, so something really large. If you have a small canvas, a small surface, then of course you would use a smaller paintbrush um, to color things in, depending on, again, the size of the image and the things that you're painting. Um, the difference between, so this is a, this is a, a oil paintbrush. The difference between the paintbrushes, you can tell by the, the bristles. We call this the bristles. This is the handle. Um, is that this is a little bit thicker and heavier and it holds oil better. This one is for acrylic and, paint and watercolor. It's thinner and it's a little lighter and it holds water and or wetter paint better, which is what acrylic and um, watercolor paints are based out of, out of water. Um, so let's test, some, let's test some of these out and I'll show you what I mean. Because sometimes you have a flat top, you have this one here, you can see that it has a curved edge to it. Um, so there's generally that point's gonna happen. You have a curved edge on some of them. You even have really, really, really tiny hair, um, almost hair string brushes that really get in there for certain details. Check out this guy, look how small he is. And the one thing about paintbrushes is that once you get them, you can keep them forever because they don't go bad as long as you clean the paint from the bristles that it will harden. This is the square um, top there. This guy here is more of a pointer top, but he's thicker, so you can use this guy to create straight lines, letters, things like that. Um, this one here is a fan brush. Look how that edge fans out. That lets you do a lot of clouds, bushes, things like that. It creates a very fan area to do uh, your painting on. Um, this one here, sometimes you'll see paint brushes. Let me put this back on top. Sometimes you'll see paint brushes with a plastic tube. I don't know if you can see this at home, but there's a plastic tube around it that it protects the bristles because. Sometimes they really make these really fine tip points that you can use to, to do really fine detail. But you put your plastic tube back over top of it to protect it so that it won't mess up the design of that really fine tip that they have there. Um, so you're getting the idea. There's so many different types of brushes. There's also different brands of brushes. So what I mean by brand is you'll see the name of the brush sometime on the handle and also the type of brush. Like this is a flat brush because it has a flat head. Um, so that's also how you'll see each brush will have the name of the brush. They'll have this is fan brush, but this fan brush will also tell you the size of the brush sometimes as well. It'll tell you the company's name, the year they were established, you know, all that kind of information. So it all depends on, generally colors also determine the brand. So it all depends on what your favorite brand will be, right? So that's not anything that we can tell you. You're going to have to decide that yourself playing around. Um, but that's really why you see so many different, so many different types of uh, paintbrushes because there are different companies that make them. Just like you see different types of cars, cars pretty much do the same thing. But you have different car companies that make the different cars that look different, even though they pretty much are used for the same reasons. 
Same thing with paint brushes. They're different companies that make them. They're all pretty much the same type of brushes, but the different companies make different brushes depending on what they make the brushes out of. So sometimes you can have, you can use human hair, you can use animal hair, you can use created synthetic hair. Um, there's all types of materials they, they use to create uh, the bristles out of, and that also will determine the price and the cost of um, the brush as well. So let's just do some lines, simple line painting, choosing some of the brushes so I can show you some examples of how the, the, the lines lay out. So I'm going to use my watercolor brush as an example. And if you notice there, you see the tip of that creates a rounded edge. So that's what's, this is a round brush. I'll show you what a flat brush does. And these, these edges do make a difference. You see that flat edge there and it creates a flatter design when you paint. Sometimes it's straight, a streak, a straighter line, right? Very flat. Now for our thinner brushes, remember I told you sometimes you can use the thin brush to create lines to do different items. Look how small that line can get. And you can see just the differences in the three different types of lines uh, that you can make, right? So this one again, this one is more like you can create different strokes. You can use it for lettering. This is more like a pen or pencil, so you can hold it and it has more dexterity to it. These other two are, are better off for coloring things in. So if I have a round shape, then I would go back to my round brush. Just in my cup here. I would go back to my round brush to then try to fill that in a little bit with the round edge because I know the edge is designed for that roundness. I mean, you can use a flat brush, but it just the corners of the flat brush are challenging for rounded edges because it's made for kind of straight edges. So if I do a, if I do a rectangle shape, then I can come back in with my flat brush and I can get in those corners. See how that matches the corner up better with a flat brush and not necessarily have to worry about the edges touching. So the brushes are designed for shapes so that you can kind of do certain things easier. You just have to play around with it yourself to determine which one is going to fit your, um, your style. And again, if I use a bigger brush, then I will be able to cover this entire page faster because the brush is bigger enough to do that. So you also will pick your brushes for speed, you'll pick it for um, dexterity, you'll pick it for precision as well, and that's pretty much how you're going to decide on which brushes to use. On top of the fact that sometimes you can just feel them and they feel good. You're like, oh, I like, I like how this feels, so I want to paint with this because it kind of gives you a different challenge. And you'll see each paintbrush kind of handles paint differently when you go out to experiment. So I do encourage you to try something on your own just to see where you land and see how this works out for you. But thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to give you a quick demo on what paint, what paint brushes there are for you, the options you have. And I'm pretty sure I didn't list all of them. I gave you a quick tutorial on the basic ones I have here, but there's so many that you can experiment with and have fun with. So I encourage you to do so. And until then, thanks for stopping by.